Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to decorate this fireplace mantle for Christmas. I have a blue theme in mind, so I do have some blue decorations. But these are just some of the things that I may be using, depending on what works. There's some picks, there's ribbons, some pine cones, ornaments. I also have a couple decorations to put on the hearth. I typically like to start with a garland, and this year I'm using the soft, flexible garland as opposed to the real stiff ones that you usually get. I bought this last year at the end of the Christmas season. I do have my little helper here with me. This is Josie. So the next thing I'm gonna put on is this deer stocking holder. It's like a little bar that you hang a bunch of stockings on that I got from Pier One. I got it a couple years ago, um, but they're super heavy. And I love them because you can hang as many stockings as you want on them too. So the next thing I'm gonna add are these picks. These I got from Michaels. They're $15 a piece, but thankfully I got them at 60% off. I'm gonna add them to the garland. I love these picks. They have the blueberries in them, which I thought would look really well with my blue theme that I'm going for this year. They were $18 a pick. They're super full, and thankfully, they were 60% off at Michael's. So I think I'm gonna put one on each end of the mantle, and then one in the center to create a center focal point. Next, I'm gonna put these picks, just to add a little greenery accent to enhance the original garland. And what I do is typically for this, I'm gonna cut each one of these off and just tuck them in. So I kind of did that over here. So I cut each one off, and then I'll probably just kind of scatter them into the, into the garland. As I mentioned, I wanted to incorporate blue into my theme this year. Um, I went to a silk flower shop and found these. They were, I think, like $1.50 for a bunch. And again, what I'm gonna do with these, which I already did here, is I, I'm going to take each stem off separately and just kind of tuck them in. I don't want too many of these. I wanted some bigger ones than these, but this is all they had, so I'm just kind of working with what, what I got. But um, I did want this blue, so let's see how they look. In, in the garland. put 
put two different sets of lights on the mantle. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a plug ne near my mantle, so I'm gonna have to use these battery operated ones, but I love these blue lights. Um, I got a couple packs, which um, I think I only need one. And then the other one I found is the, are these little white fairy lights, which I love because they're remote control and you can actually put different, different modes. Um, you can pick different ones that you want, so, and then you can turn it off when you're done. And I love that. Okay, it says you can turn it off. There you go, turn it off. Anyway, so I'm gonna attach these two onto the mantle and see what they look like. I want to add to the mantle are these really pretty blue um, velvet stockings that I got um, from Target. Now typically we use our stockings but in this case it's going to just be for decoration so to give it a little life I like to add some tissue paper in it so that it kind of looks a little more three-dimensional and um, it just looks nicer. I typically have a lot more on my heart, but this year I'm going to have to keep it very limited because of Josie. She gets into everything. But I did get these flock trees and she hasn't bothered them at the home goods store. And the silver deer I got at Pier 1 a couple years back still creates a nice warm scene on my heart. Hopefully Josie won't get to them. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to see more new videos. I'd love to hear from you so please leave me a comment and let me know if there's something that you would like to see in my future videos. Until next time, bye bye!